Hi guys, good to see you. My name is Jeff Hopkins and today I'm bringing you another update on the Open Woodwind Project. Now the Open Woodwind Project has been long going, almost eight years for me, um, but recently I've been making really good progress. Uh, most of that progress uh, has been with the onboard synthesizer lately and making a new 3D printed body, which is, is pretty spectacular. So we'll go over today the onboard synthesizer, the OSC interface for the iPad, and we'll take a look at the new body. And I think you guys will be really impressed with the, the sound quality that we have with the onboard synthesizer and what we can do. Um, it won't be a replacement for a real synthesizer, but as far as an open source onboard synthesizer that you can use for practicing or even just simple gigging, I, I don't think you can beat it. Um, the Teensy 4.0 has really made it possible. It is a beast of a microcontroller, and you can do some really outstanding things with it. So stay tuned. I'll give you some demos. We'll go through the the iPad interface we have that we built up that controls the synthesizer. Um, I'll talk a little bit about how I'm going to be using the Raspberry Pi as a base station, and we'll go over the new body and some of the, the specifics that we'll have that will eventually be all together on this open source woodwind controller and an instrument now, not just the controller. It'll have a, an onboard synthesizer. So really looking forward to this. So um, I'll give you an example of the audio first of just a simple patch on here, and then we'll go over the, the multi-oscillator setup and and show you what we can actually do. Anyway, um, that is a, an example of just one oscillator going and all the reverb, all the, the filter response, all that is done on board the TNC 4.0. Um, to give you an idea of how big the TNC 4.0 is, this is a, a 3.2. It's the same size form factor. So this little guy right here is doing all the audio synthesis. And it's all done on a microcontroller, no windows, no, no operating system. It's all just, just done in C. Pretty outstanding. So um, I'm recording the, the screen of the iPad also, so I can kind of show you this multi-oscillator. But to, to go over it, um, the synthesizer itself has four oscillators that you can select the shape. You can detune each oscillator, and you can set the pulse width for a variable triangle shape. Um, so that's mainly what I play with is a, is a variable triangle, and I'll add pulse width of that variable triangle, basically change the, sh the, the shape of that triangle um, via some modulation from, from breath and, and my modulation wheel. So we have four oscillators. We have the, the main volume, we have reverb um, amount, we have pulse width, which can be modulated by breath and modulation, we have filter cutoff can be modulated by breath and modulation, we have a, a generic filter offset, uh, filter resonance, and then we have some tuning things for uh, for instrument matching and transposition. Um, so a pretty simple interface, uh, but you can do a whole lot with it. So the first thing we're gonna do is turn off all of, first thing we're gonna do is turn off all the, the, uh, the routing from breath and modulation. And we're gonna turn our filter offset way up. And we're gonna keep just the one oscillator, but we're gonna make it just a regular-ish triangle wave. And you'll be able to hear right now, there's not a lot of dynamics to it. The, the sound is just a nice little triangle wave. And if we just uh, remove all of our reverb here. You know, so it sounds like a, a nice, a nice triangle wave. You know, nothing, nothing crazy about it. Um, but the real cool thing is when we can add the the modulation in from from breath and 
and route that to pulse width and filter. So we're going to do that right now. We're going to add just a little bit of, of pulse width to that. So now as I introduce my breath, it'll change the pulse width of oscillators um, variable triangle wave. <laughs> Ah, it sounds way better already. Well, just a little bit of re reverb. <laughs> sounds great. So another thing we can do then is add a little bit of filter response uh, from breath, and we'll turn our filter offset so it comes mainly from breath. <laughs> Um, the other thing we can do is add modulation to pulse width and filter cutoff. And what that is, on my instrument at least, is the angle of the instrument. So that allows me to do passages where I'm playing kind of not very buzzy and then bring it up and it gets a little more buzzy. And it makes for some really uh, dynamic passages, which I think are, are really cool. So I usually just add a little bit of modulation to my filter cutoff too. So it goes like this now. kind of kind of subtle um, but it really allows me to to bring a, a passage to life and uh, and bring that out all right so now what we're going to do now is take the single oscillator put it to a variable triangle wave with no pulse width turn my filter all the way down and, and I'll show you the filter response of itself <laughs> and then filter resonance is actually really nice on the synthesizer. Um, you can do some really nice sounding stuff, so let me show you that. Um, especially if we add a little more pulse width. But again, the shape that I usually like using is the, is the variable triangle because that pulse width can, can modify that. Um, so now that we've played with that a little bit, let's, uh, let's pull up multiple oscillators here. So first thing I'm going to do is reset my tunings. And we'll set pulse widths down on each a little bit. Turn volume down here. So right now I have all my oscillators turned up just a little bit, and what I'm going to do is detune them until uh, we get a nice little little guy going here.
<laughs> anyway, I'm just noodling around now. Um, but you can see how you can add chorus. You can add other things real easy, and it sounds it all sounds good. It sounds great. Um, so what we're gonna do now? What we're gonna do now is uh, show you the the tuning on it. So uh, if you're trying to match other instruments and other and other keys and all that kind of stuff, it's super easy with this app. Um, just use the note offset to to match. So you just play a C. Until you, you find your offset there. And let's say you find your offset. But you're just a little flat, a little sharp. Just use your fine tune. So it makes it really easy to uh, to match transpositions and stuff uh, very rapidly. So again, this is all done from my iPad wirelessly, and what it's doing is taking this synthesizer data in the form of the sliders and all that, putting it in OSC messages, and these OSC messages are going back to the Raspberry Pi, which is running the the MIDI of the instrument, and controlling the uh, the synthesizer that you're they're hearing now this uh, synthesizer again will be on board the microcontroller which makes it so you don't have to have the raspberry pi uh, but what it does do is allow you to edit the settings of that synthesizer so in the field uh, my eventual plan is just to have the instrument and the Raspberry Pi, plug it into a USB source, have the iPad, I can set the uh, synthesizer if I want, but I'll also be able to save patches to the instrument and you know, really only have to use the iPad if you want to edit something. Um, to that regard, um, that's the, the multi-oscillator, uh, the onboard synthesizer for the new Open Woodwind Project controller. And you've probably seen it sitting over here, I'm pretty excited about it. Um, the next prototype controller, is is coming along very nicely. Um, it's 3D printed with carbon fiber keys. Now, it won't stay this gray. I'm gonna I'm gonna finish it with some uh, veneer and painting and really spruce it up and make it look nice. Um, but all these files will of course be available for others to to reproduce. And I'm I'm super excited about what we can do with this. Uh, overall, the sensors and and carbon fiber and all that will p maybe run you 150 to 200 US dollars. And then, uh, you know, of course, you'd have to assemble it and all that kind of stuff. But I hope to offer up kits and, and that kind of stuff. Uh, but I'm super excited about how much work I've gotten done on the onboard oscillator. And I think, I think you can tell the sonic capabilities from this demo. It's super cool. Anyway, my name is Jeff Hopkins, and that was the update on op Open Woodwind Project. Uh, it's a little longer form factor, uh, a little more personal between me and you, uh, but I hope you enjoyed. If you want to see more of this kind of stuff, longer longer form factor with a little more in-depth um, explanations of my setup, maybe I can go over the Raspberry Pi and some of the basic uh, programming and configurations I have on it. Um, I, of course, on my Raspberry Pi, I'll, I'll release uh, an image when I'm done of the SD card so that other people can reproduce it as well. And the goal is to have a fully reproducible uh, woodwind controller slash instrument that anyone can just go on to GitHub and take the files, print it, one out, and, and make one. You know, anywhere from a, a nice 3D printed body to a, a prototyped wooden one like this. Um, super exciting times. Anyway, thank you very much, and I will talk to you guys later.